if you're looking to make a Clemente Figuera commutator with the 16 contacts, okay, here's an easy way to do it. Go to Harbor Freight. You could pick up a Badland 2,000 pound winch for roughly 40 to 50 dollars. Depends if you have a coupon, okay. The brushes usually has four brushes. You could just use two. You would take this center piece out, this plastic piece with those screws, it comes right out. And you would take the flat commutator that comes with the winch and you would pop this off. So now you have brushes and a 16 pole commutator. Okay, a little bit of 3D printing. And this is the brush holder with the brushes. I have two on here. You only have to use one if you want by just powering one on these sides or you could use two so you could do multiple experiments. So this has your two rotating brushes and it makes contact with the commutator just like the winch is designed and that's factory designed so you know it's a good contact correct brushes and could handle the power because these things draw lots of current so you could take lots of current through these brushes. Then you mount it on a shaft with a little 3D printing. Okay, mount your commutator onto your bearing stand. Run your shaft through and you just got to construct some slip rings. Personally, I use 3 quarter inch uh, copper coupling and mount it and cut it and design a little slip ring there. Your two vacuum brushes or whatever brushes you want to use to put your DC. You could you just use one if you're doing the Clemente Figuera setup that just needs single polarity or if you're doing two for alternate experiments like I'm going to do I put two for a negative and a positive and finally you adapt on a motor so now the motor spins direct current goes into the yellow and green wires which connects to the brushes and the brushes spin on your commutator outputting your switching on those 16 contacts. Now this thing is a self-contained unit so I could just take this out hook whatever I wanted to there the resistor rig armatures or whatever the rotation and whatnot without like hundreds of H bridges and MOSFETs and this also allows back EMF to go both ways because it's all copper rotating copper and brushes there's no diodes and switches and logic and all that stuff like that so I'm going to power it up with 6 volts and you can see her there she is, 6 volts putting direct current into the brushes the brushes spin on the contacts the contacts that energize one at a time the negative and positive alternating so there's a nice simple way you can make the Clemente Figuera commutator because let's face it if you tried to make the 16 pole contact by cutting you're going to need a mill to do it correctly you know you're never going to get it nice like that you know I mean there's other ways to make it but you're going to waste days and days of uh, fighting and reprinting and whatnot and it's not going to be as good as this so this is a very good setup of course, it ain't going to win a beauty pageant, but it's solid and it works. So, if you're interested in building this, if you're interested in the Clemente Figuera and doing some experiments, um, you got to build your commutator. So, if you visit my forum, it's in the description down there, mooker.com, okay? I will be posting the STL files for this build, so you could, and all the parts that I used so you could replicate this if you want to okay including the motor mount that just screws down on a piece of wood two bearing holders this one's just a standard bearing holder this one is the bearing holder with the commutator mount that fits the Badlands commutator okay then I'll give you the bracket that you bolt onto the brush rig right there uh, it's all aligned correctly, all the bolt sizes, and I'll give you my STL files for my slip ring. I'll give you my STL files for the brush holder, plus all the part numbers and Amazon links of where I got the brushes, exactly what model. So if you want to replicate it, 
you could follow the instructions. So that's on the forum. So join the forum and watch my experiments with this and with other mechanisms that I always play with and see what we can do. See you later.